the field. Among them, Gustavo Boccoli, who scored that away goal at Anfield. Italian officials tonight, the uh, very experienced Roberto Rossetti is the referee. I hate to be vulgar, there is a lot of money riding on this though. It's been billed as a 10, 15 million pound game. Liverpool are not rolling in it by the standards of their main rivals. They've got a new stadium to build. They need to be in the Champions League for all kinds of reasons. Dirk Coit amongst them. A lot of money here. And a bit of edge too. Maccabi Haifa believe passionately that this game could and should have been played in the Israeli capital, Tel Aviv. They told Rafa Benitez as much in a, a very lively press conference yesterday. They suspect that Liverpool's influence within UEFA got it moved. There was even talk of uh, dirty tricks in that first leg. No love lost. Ronnie Levy on the left there. The Maccabi Haifa coach has got his team really wound up. It's Liverpool who've got it all to lose. It's Maccabi in the green who've got it all to gain. Nobody on Merseyside needs reminding about the perils of this qualifying round. A year ago, Everton went out at this stage, went out in dramatic and controversial circumstances. A late goal, mysteriously disallowed by Natalia Ref in Villarreal. And they were out of the UEFA Cup too by the end of September. This is still a cup competition. And anything can happen tonight. David Pleat sitting alongside me. What do you think will happen? Well, I think uh, Liverpool should be able to uh, maintain their lead. They're going to have to start strongly and resist the early tempo of Haifa. Haifa have the advantage in a way of playing exactly the same group of players they played in the first game. But um, Liverpool have played in Europe many times and I think Sami Hippia at the back he can control the troops and Alonso's passing in midfield could be decisive. Finn and Ford towards Pennant. Rafa Benitez is fielding two out and out wide men tonight. Pennant on the right and Gonzalez, his late goal in the first leg could be so critical on the left with Luis Garcia just feeding off Peter Crouch up front. Xabi Alonso. The decision has gone for Maccabi Haifa, number 20 is Yaniv Katan, whom uh, Ronnie Levy has just got back from a six-month spell with West Ham United. Magralishvili, the sit back from Anderson, one of the Brazilians. Perfect playing conditions, mild evening, just a little breeze, underfoot, pitch in pristine condition. Yes, it is beautifully grassed and there's, there's no breeze, it is perfect. I just wonder if the grass is, is slightly thick, we, we had no water before the game, some clubs often do a little bit of watering just to make a little bit of zip on the surface. Looks to me as though it'll be a holding pitch. One of the features of the uh, early Liverpool season is how little Crouch has played alongside Bellamy. The big man is the obvious target here for Chabi Alonso. But it's too high even for Peter Crouch. Only 25 minutes in that first match. Chabi Alonso has been rested recently, didn't feature on Saturday, only played half an hour of the Community Shield. Continually freshening up his starting 11 in the early weeks of the season, the Liverpool manager. Still look uh, for Crouch because it seemed particularly effective. It disturbed the Haifa defence in those last minutes at Anfield. Up here seeking out Warnock, who missed much of the pre season because of a hernia operation. But with uh, Jon Arnorisa now out for the foreseeable future, he may get more opportunities. Risa missing tonight through injury, Carragher missing tonight 
through injury. But Steve Finnan back here after uh, sitting out the weekend with a thigh problem. One at too strong for Gonzalez. Near Davidovic is the Maccabi Haifa goalkeeper, current Israeli international. On by Bokkali, the goal scorer at Anfield. This is Luis Garcia. Gonzalez has got pace. Too much pace for Harazi, and he was checked on the edge of the penalty area by Kanan, but the referee had a good view of that. Very tall, strong, Chilean defender. Having to come across and cover there after he beat the outstretched leg of Harazi. Interesting to see that uh, Masudi, who I thought was very talented at Liverpool and played on the wide right, He's playing on the left-hand side tonight, and Bokkali, who made some very clever runs from the middle and scored the goal, he's playing on the wide right at the start of the game. Wide right for Liverpool, Jermaine Pennant, who was very prominent in that first leg. Huppia, towards the head of Kraut, just unable to control the layoff. Anderson finding a way out to Dersu. Now Harazi. Bokkali. He's a plucky player, as well as being swift and skillful. Not such a good pass from Dersu. His fellow countryman Anderson. These are the two Brazilian anchors in the Maccabi midfield. Now Harazi for to the other Brazilian, Bokkali off by Warner. Clearance by Kanan, seized upon by Sissoko. Gonzalez back to Aga, over hit. Louis Garcia taking up a position to support Crouch, but he'll drop into midfield, make an extra man there. Pennant and Gonzalez wide. So when Liverpool lose possession, they're always going to have a five across the middle and leave Peter Crouch up the front. Olara, Chilean defender, Magralishvili. Masudi under unfair pressure from Chambi Alonso. There's a surprisingly good atmosphere in the stadium. I think we came here a little bit nervous that there might be no one at the game, or very few people, but um, there's a good attendance, and I think that'll suit Liverpool. 500 estimated to have travelled from Merseyside, 500 estimated to have travelled from Haifa, so the vast majority are locals, roll-ups on the night. Dinamo Kiev, whose ground this is, are involved in the Champions League qualifiers tomorrow night. They play away, though, in uh, Turkey. So, um, that's not much on the box in uh, Kiev tonight. I've got a free kick here, which Yaniv Katan will take. Both of the central defenders are forward. Turn away by Crouch. Magralishvili. The flag is raised. Liverpool pushed out quickly enough. That's what they do very well. Hippia is usually in control of that situation. When they clear the ball, he's quick to get his fellow defenders to the edge of the box. And if you're lazy or an, 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 an opponent who doesn't quickly move, then you get caught offside. So he did another goal from a free kick at the weekend at Bramall Lane, though. This is a recurring problem for them. Problem is um, with the big centre back, Dekel Kanan. And um, because he's apparently concussed, he's being ushered to the sidelines for some treatment by the Italian official. Had a very good game at Anfield until the last minute when there was some confusion for a high ball and it led to Gonzalez scoring that vital goal. Daniel Agger, the uh, 
Dane, of whom Liverpool have seen relatively little since his arrival in January because of injuries. Alara with a header away. This is Catan. Palauti. Now Boccoli. Catan. Too clever by far. Alonso to Finnan. Rarely more than two or three Liverpool passes without Alonso being involved, but unusually for him, that was wildly overhit. All they really need to do is just keep the ball at this stage of the game. Don't give the hyper players any confidence. Make them chase. Finnan's header. And Harazi. Sissoko with height and reach advantage, beaten to it by Kalauti. And certainly game, the uh, main striker. Sissoko wins that one, but is caught in a Haifa sandwich. Started all four Liverpool games this season now, Momo Sissoko. May well be the only outfield player who can claim that. Pennant has found Crouch! And if Liverpool could just steal an away goal of their own to set the evening going, then it would start to look so much more comfortable for them. It's tidy play by Pennant, wasn't it? Putting it perfectly to Crouch. I wonder if he could have taken a touch first before making that drive. Pennant hugging the touchline on the right when Liverpool get possession. And Gonzalez is also getting wide quickly when the midfield have the ball. Very proud travelling supporters from Haifa. It's a good ball from Catan, bottle is low cross. Everything I've heard in the last 24 hours suggests that things have settled down now in the uh, northern Israeli port. Free kick has um, gone to Liverpool. The uh, Maccabi players returned to Haifa last Wednesday. Many were relocated to the Israeli capital, Tel Aviv, during the hostilities. I told you a fortnight ago that the home of the reserve goalkeeper took a, a direct hit from a Hezbollah rocket. I gather the uh, right-back Alon Harazi returned to find his car had been totally destroyed outside his house. Close thing. The, uh, the stadium, the club home did escape without damage but several buildings in the immediate vicinity were hit and are currently unsafe so Maccabi begin the Israeli league season this Saturday with an away fixture that's the backdrop to this fixture <laughs> clearance by Magrelishvili Masudi he felt he was fouled, but a free kick has not been given. It's a Liverpool throw. He showed some great touches in the first game. Looked slightly lightweight, but clever footwork at times on the right-hand side where he played. Way by Dersou, helped on by Catan. This is Boccoli. Pushed too far ahead of him. It's a good ball from Hopia. Gonzalez. Crossed in early, dealt with by Kanan, up to a point, a long side shot! That wasn't very far away. Screaming, curling effort from Chabi Alonso, which the goalkeeper tried to reach but couldn't. Yeah, he's got a wonderful shot, Alonso, and he should always be looking to take them shooting opportunities. He really can power them. You and I saw his last goal for Liverpool. Was it was from his own half of the field. At a club called Luton, I believe. Clive. Indeed, and an FA Cup tie back in January. It's astonishing to think that he hasn't scored since then. Yeah, quite an incredible goal and a wonderful game. Agger with the free kick. Only done by Harazi, who is very experienced, the uh, right-back, making his 50th appearance 
in Europe for Maccabi Haifa tonight, which is an Israeli record. Animated, agitated, Rafa Benitez. Katan's playing much further forward than he did in the first game. He seemed to cover every braid of grass in Liverpool. Now he's playing more or less as the second striker with the impressive centre forward, Kalauti. More adventurous approach by Ronnie Levy, who's got to look upon this as the home leg, even though he is 1,200 miles from home. Pennant. Crouches, long stride will gobble up the ground and reach there. And here's a chance for Luis Garcia. Terrific save by Davidovic. Instinctive, it was straight at him, but he reacted quickly enough. It was a very good chance from Luis Garcia. And if he had his time over again, he'll probably feel he should have scored. Peter crouches very well on that side there to pull that ball back once again. An accurate pullback for Garcia. Liverpool are creating the chances. Magralishvili. Dersu. Bokkoli. Curled in towards Kalauti, who just can't quite reach it. Finnan is able to help it out of harm's way, but Kalauti found some space between full-back and centre-back there. And I wonder if Hippia finds it strange playing alongside a left-footer, because they, they played in the charity shield together. Aguilar, left-footer, his previous uh, partners, Carragher, of course, and before that, Tencho. Right Rupi usually players. plays on the left of uh, Carragher too, doesn't he? But always play with two, they've had two right footers and sometimes you think the right footer and the left footer is, is a better balance. But um, I'm sure the manager will watch uh, Aga's process very, very closely. Kolauti. Sissoko protecting his back four as he does so well. Dersu, encouraging Magrilishvili to get forward from fullback. Masudi, Anderson. Masudi will go on but runs into Sissoko once more. Pennant was caught in possession but unfairly. Good start by Liverpool, they've had a couple of good sights of goal. Yes, they're certainly not being pressured heavily by Haifa. They are able to pass the ball and they've got these good passing angles because of the width that Pennant and Gonzalez is, is giving them. So they've always got an outlet to get the ball wide and when Pennant goes a little bit deeper, Crouch is making those runs behind the left-back position. Just to clarify the situation, this uh, two-legged qualifying match for a place in the draw on Thursday for the group stages of the Champions League. Liverpool leading by two goals to one from the first game. Xabi Alonso trying to add to that tally, but that away goal would count in the event of the aggregate scores here being level. So a 1-0 victory for Maccabi Haifa would be sufficient to take them through at Liverpool's expense. You know, at the moment, Alonso and Sissoko are just winning that midfield area. I think Anderson and Dursu need to be just a little bit more expansive. They... They played very much as holding midfield players at uh, Liverpool. Now I think one of them's got to try and push on a little bit and support Catan and this man, Kalauti. Dersu gave uh, Luis Garcia a bump there from which he's only just recovering. Aga was just caught by Catan. There seemed to be much contact between Catan uh, and Aga. long way from Peter Crouch's brain down to the ground <laughs> but uh, he has got good touch for a big man wasn't particularly evident there but he was fouled in the end Alonso spotting Gonzalez but he's offside and Gonzalez had good space there he just needed to hold his run he was too anxious to get towards the byline too quickly Close, however. Arazi. Oh. 
Foul goes uh, against uh, Kalauta this time. Liverpool are not the only big name under pressure tonight. Milan, Valencia, Benfica and Hamburg are all in a bit of trouble in these uh, qualifying ties. Hearts have given themselves a lot to do tomorrow. Arsenal a little less. Anderson. Magralishvili. Masudi. Anderson. Bocoli. Quickly forward to Catan. Tricked Aga. Cross is cut out though by Chabi Alonso. That's the good advantage, Catan there. Having done that work, he should have been able to get the ball beyond the first defender. Very important game for Stephen Warnock at left back today. Just wonder if Buckley, who looked very good running at defenders in the first game, can do the same tonight from the wide right position, in which case he'd give Warnock a problem. If he doesn't, I'm sure Masudi could come over on that side. Warnock, of course, at the moment hasn't had much games this season. He's in the England squad briefly last season, remember? Liverpool can't afford to lose another left-back through injury. They do have Fabio Aurelio on the bench this evening, but it looks like Jon Arnarisa might be out for a week or two. It is important on this one, Clive, he, on the heading, no crouches back there, but all the Haifa players are up. This is where they could easily force an advantage. Katan with the free kick, it's a drilling header, and Ray is in trouble! It's been forced in, has it? No! Flags up on the near side. In the midst of all that, Alain Masoudi's goal was ruled out. But Liverpool less than convincing again, defending a free kick. Well, they lost the first ball, didn't they? And that was the one that caused the trouble. Just the slightest of flicks across the goal. The He's the player who's offside. Right. He was offside with, from the initial flick. That's when the flag went up. Xabi Alonso actually thumped it against Reyna. Then Masudi turned it in. I think it was Catan on the far side, who was just offside when Kalauti's flicked header caused the unrest in the Liverpool defence I must resist dropping too deep on free kicks in front of Reina makes it very difficult for, difficult for a goalkeeper if you try and defend too deep too close to the goal now can Liverpool cause a problem with their own as we approach the halfway mark in this first half Gonzalez has taken up a shooting position. Xabi Alonso is inspecting it. It's hit by Xabi Alonso and hit straight against the end of the wall. You wonder when they work their set plays because evidently Benitez rarely gives the team sheet until an hour or so before the kickoff, so that the players don't often work the previous day on their set plays because quite. Clearly, the manager sometimes isn't sure of the team at that stage. So sometimes the free kicks are a test of wills. Who's the most dominant player? Yes, everything I've heard is that the players arrive at the stadium unaware of the starting 11. It's when they get here, the Rafa Benitez reveals his hand to them. It's not to say that he's unsure of his team, of course, it's just that he's not telling anybody. Well, the free kick to defend. Yep, Warnock. Anywhere. A couple of free kicks on that side now. He's got to be careful. But there's not the same ambition from Haifa from this one. I'm surprised. Thought they might fill the box there again, having been so close last time. Olara. Anderson. Tossed forward by Olara. This is Kalauti. And he is offside.
England may well be seeing Roberto Calauti when they come up against Israel in the European Championship qualifiers. He's uh, an Argentine by birth, but he married an Israeli girl in March. He's now gained Israeli citizenship and he's just waiting for the final clearance. He was actually named in the squad for a, a friendly match that Israel played a week ago, but the uh, paperwork was delayed. But he and Katan, his uh, striking partner, number 20, will be part of Israel's plans for those two games against England, the first of which is next March in Israel. Xabi Alonso. Gonzalez on to Warnock. Bockley cut it out. Arazi clears on by Katan. Hope you toss back into the corner for Peter Crouch. Nothing wrong with his footwork there. He set up Chabi Alonso, who's got it in. Luis Garcia! Good save again by Davidovic. Again, instinctively down to his left, and again, Luis Garcia is his victim. Beautiful move. Crouch did superbly well to keep the ball deep on the left, play it back into Alonso, and then the setup ball for Garcia. Splendid move by Liverpool, and the goalkeeper equal to it. I thought he was good in the first game. One back by Gonzalez, given away rather tamely. Bocoli. He's found an angle to pick out Catan and able to return the favour. Bocoli eventually stumbles under pressure from a fair challenge from Xabi Alonso. Crouch doing well to find Gonzalez. Another free kick. It's competitive. Yeah, Dursu particularly, Anderson in midfield, they like a tackle. Not as much as Sissoko, though. Pennant. Didn't seen quite as much of the ball as he did in the first game. Finnan tossed hopefully forward towards Garcia, beaten to it by the taller Olara. Kept in by Pennant, cleared again by Olara. Poor clearance by Anderson. Xavi Alonso just eased off the ball by Catan, and here comes Bocoli. Got Calauti to his right, Masudi to his left, Bocoli trying to go it alone, Herpia stands in his way. Haifa didn't get midfield support quick enough to Bocoli there, when he picks up the ball and runs, he needs alternatives, he needs players to support quicker. Luis Garcia. Stopped by Kena. Catan. Kalauti is onside here and has got beyond Warnock. Only Masudi waiting in the centre. The check by Kalauti in towards Masudi. Herpia had to defend the near post. Catan. Bocoli. Magralishvili. Pennant seeing out his defensive duties. Excellent play by Jermaine Pennant getting back there. Liverpool have got a problem though already. And Stephen Warnock, who was injured early in the game, has clearly joined the casualty list and is limping away now. And Liverpool have lost another left back. They do have the Brazilian Fabio Aurelio to provide a like-for-like -like replacement, but a disappointment for Stephen Warnock after his pre-season fitness problems. Fabio Aurelio, who followed Rafa Benitez from Valencia during the summer. Very unfamiliar Liverpool left flank now, Aurelio and Gonzalez. South Americans, that's a, a first for this uh, historic club. Once a club who attracted all the best Scots players. Now it's a very much a global game and of course there isn't that so much talent to come down from Scotland anymore. 
South Americans are easier to understand than Kenny Dalglish, though. And Alan Hansen. Alonso. Garcia. Sissoko's header. Alara didn't deal with it. Crouch has found Luis Garcia. And now Mark Gonzalez. And now free kick to Maccabi Haifa. Verazzi is quick, the right back. I just feel that if Gonzalez gets a supply of the ball, he, he can get into advanced areas. He's sharp, left-footed, and gets the ball into the box early. And obviously that's something that uh, Benitez has thought much about. Attracting two wide players to the club, Gonzalez and Pennant, this summer to probably play a slightly more expansive game. He's got Crouch, who's good in the air, because now he's got Dirk Kite as well to challenge. And, of course, Bellamy is the quick one. He's going to give him that alternative racing beyond defenders. Bellamy is on the bench behind Benitez. Kite is back home on Merseyside. He is not eligible for this game. He is for the Champions League proper if Liverpool can make it. We have more live European football on ITV this week. Tomorrow at this time, Arsenal's Champions League qualifier against Dinamo Zagreb is on ITV4. We start at 7.30 on Friday. The European Super Cup between Barcelona and Sevilla is on ITV4. Also from 7.30, that's live from Monaco on Friday. Wednesday, Arsenal. Friday, the European Super Cup. The yellow card here for Xabi Alonso. And these do add up during the course of a Champions League season. It's a little unfair on those who have got to pre-qualify that they can carry yellow cards forward into the competition proper when the likes of Manchester United and Chelsea have not kicked a ball in the competition as yet. Masudi told to get to his feet this time. Buttoned off it by Sissoko. Gonzalez getting it back from Luis Garcia. He's got Fabio Aurelio making a, an overlapping run. He's come a long way not to get the ball, the Brazilian. Seen off by Harazi. Catan. Masudi. Catan. Incidentally, the uh, main draw for the group stage of the Champions League takes place on Thursday at around 5 o'clock, and you can follow that live on our website. Log on to itv.com slash football on Thursday at 5 o'clock to follow the draw as it happens in Monaco. itv.com slash football. One third of the game gone. I'm sure Benitez will be relatively happy. Certainly didn't get that early... Raids that uh, Hyde have possibly threatened and with a high tempo. But Hyde for playing cannily. It only takes a second to get a goal and they're well in this game. If they can get the first goal, it will be a tremendous boost for them. Best chances so far have fallen to the man in the foreground. Luis Garcia, twice denied by the man taking the goal kick near Davidovic. But Maccabi Haifa have had the ball in the Liverpool net, a goal disallowed quite rightly for offside. 2-1 Liverpool lead on aggregate. This is Peter Crouch. What a free kick. Xabi Alonso. away by Anderson. Bockley losing out to Aurelio. One back by Anderson. Catan. Bockley. That's a lot of Catan. He was caught late there by Sissoko. I just see, think Haifa need to work the ball more before trying to release their front players. Apart from the disallowed goal, they haven't really penetrated at all behind the uh, Liverpool back line. Pilate, who made good, strong runs in, in the first game, hasn't really had the support. Katang's drifted away from him again. Gonzalez has won a corner kick. Signal for both Daniel Agar and Sami Hupia to come forward.
mean, Pennant has come across to take it. Luis Garcia standing right next to the goalkeeper. Towards the head of Crouch. Forced with some part of his anatomy, Goldwoods, and forced off. And Maccabi high for defender, behind for another corner. Now David Odic, his goal was well protected, two men on the line covering the post. They know the power of Crouch. I think it came off the Brazilian midfield player. Gonzalez to swing this one in. Towards the head of Crouch once more, and Luis Garcia once more denied by Davidovic. Point blank save, but very instinctive goalkeeping. Luis Garcia feeding off the giant figure of Peter Crouch. Sissoko. Cut out there by Masudi. Kalauti. Boccoli. Kalauti had continued his run. Pepe Reina alert. Has to improvise into the penalty area. Kalauti had it back momentarily. Aga rather anxiously clear. Sissoko likewise. It was a superb pass to Kalati and it was lucky that Rayner was alert. He just panicked at the last moment. He wasn't sure of where his 18-yard line was and he headed that ball. But what a great save at the other end by Davidovic. Terrific save. Garcia just coming off the line rather cleverly to get that second ball. He was committed to the save even before it reached the head of Luis Garcia. He just flung himself and flung himself in the right place at the right time to keep out the header, but that's three times now. He's denied Luis Garcia there. And Liverpool have looked much the more likely to score. Yeah, no question. The more dangerous team. Haifa playing competently, but not looking a goal threat. Whereas Liverpool, when they get into the final third, you always feel that they're going to get an effort on goal. It's not often that one of the uh, big teams, one of the big countries of Champions League football falls at this stage, but as I was saying earlier, Milan take just a one-goal lead to Belgrade tonight against Red Star. Hamburg are in Spain against Osasuna. That one's goalless after the first leg. Valencia are one down as they face Salzburg of Austria at home tonight. And Benfica are level at 1-1 against uh, Austria-Vienna. They have their home leg tonight. So Liverpool are not the only ones viewing this uh, second game with some nervousness and so far they've just looked uh, a class above their opponents flag is up for side Stephen Warnock's uh, injury is uh, to his ankle we hear very much the same as with Risa and Carragher. So that's three defenders Liverpool have out for the moment. Harry Kuhn is still on their uh, injured list too. Good tackle by Dersu. Katan. Masudi. Bockley didn't show a great deal of courage there. Fabio Aurelio, his fellow Brazilian. <laughs> need the ball. Even Brazilians can't affect the game without the ball. The challenge by Xabi Alonso, he has been penalised. No, I beg your pardon, the cricket's gone his way. It's uh, Masudi who's been whistled. Jermaine Pennant. Finland coasting forward ahead of him. Sissoko. Luis Garcia. Over away by Olara. Clearance completed by Harazi. Fabio Aurelio. He was over the head of the fullback Magralishvili, but uh, he unsighted Pennant. Yeah. 
Is there any flag being proudly flown? A couple of other Israeli teams have had to play their home legs away from home in the UEFA Cup. A couple of weeks ago, both of them were beaten too. One in Holland against the Slovenian team, the other in, in Slovenia against the Bulgarian side. But it's not a, just a problem that UEFA have recognised. The start of the Israeli domestic season has been put back a week to this uh, coming weekend in order to allow things to settle down in the country following the ceasefire and really UEFA's decision has had plenty of precedence it's happened in previous years when there have been troubles in the Middle East Harazi to throw in In this situation here, Haifa have three defenders against Crouch at the other end of the field. I think we've really got to show a little bit more ambition. It's the one to try and get that important goal, first goal. Referee has given a free kick back on the edge of the penalty area in uh, Liverpool's favour. UEFA have a decision to take soon about Israel's opening game of the European Championship qualifiers. The feeling is that that may have to be played at a neutral venue. As I say, England are not due there until March. Uh, the return fixture between England and Israel is in September 2007, presumably at Wembley. Well, I say presumably, maybe. Well, Davidovich only just reached that. Cutter. You need to have a breaker from midfield, Haifa, if they're going to get into this game more and put Hippier and Aga under a little bit of pressure at the back. The two midfield players, Anderson and Dersu, are still very much sitting. Maybe they're looking to get to half time, maybe it's part of some wonderful plan that they're going to keep it. Try and keep a tight first half and then be more expansive in the second period. But unless they get either Harazi or Magashvili forward from fullback, I cannot see them really giving enough support. So far, so good for Liverpool. A 2 1 first leg lead intact. And they are the team that have looked most likely tonight. Ronnie Levy's side have got a bit more to find yet. Crouch has won that, and here's Luis Garcia once more. There was an appeal there for handball against Alaro, who just checks Luis Garcia as he tried to ghost past him. It's a clever ball from Chabi Alonso. Finnan, Luis Garcia. Good tackle by Anderson. Catan, Boccoli. Dersou. That's it back from Masudi. Magralishvili, the left back, is forward here. Now the right back, Harazi. Bokali. Sure footed challenge by Daniel Aga. All crouch taken out from behind by Kane, and there's going to be a yellow card here for the centre back. He's on a warning for the rest of the game. No need for that rush challenge at all. Even if Crouch got hold of that ball, he wasn't going anywhere. Halfway line, silly, silly yellow to concede. Another with uh, prospects of featuring in the European Championships, uh, Dekel Kanan. He's a current under-21 international, but there's been a, a bit of a row between the Israeli coach and Tal Ben Haim, the Bolton player. Ben Haim's been asked to apologise and told if he doesn't, he'll be out. And if that happened, Kanan would be in. This man here. I think Benitez's selection has been very interesting tonight, very positive. When they attack, they've got the four men up the field. Garcia's always close to Crouch, and they've looked dangerous. And I think they've surprised Haifa a little bit. Haifa probably expecting them to play 
just crouch up there and five across the middle and play a containing game, but they haven't. Pennant's hugged the touchline, Gonzalez has got forward. And in effect, it stopped Haifa from breaking from the back. Anderson. Sissoko first to it, it was rugby tackled there by Anderson. I think we find that might be a yellow card. Claiming that he lost the ball in the lights. And he found Sissoko's legs. Maybe enough. Oh, we actually did take him out with the foot initially. Could have been nasty. Crouch the target. Just a little strong for Luis Garcia this time. Really held his jump well there, Crouch, for that diagonal. Way higher than Alara. Chilean. Two added minutes. Two minutes additional time for the end of the first half. Good to see the stadium pretty full, but it's not exactly a rocking atmosphere because the huge majority here are not particularly committed either one way or the other. They just come to see a football match. Pennant. Luis Garcia. Crouch. Fit into Xavi Alonso. Swept out towards Mark Gonzalez. What a pass that is. Luis Garcia. Charged down by Canaan. Good control from Boccoli. But despite the many changes to the Liverpool team, eight in all from the weekend, there's been a fluency about a lot of their approach player. They've lost another player already tonight, Stephen Warnock injured. I think they've used the width well, haven't they? They've uh, certainly kept Gonzalez busy on Alonso and Hippier have always looked to play the ball out to, to the left. Steve Finner. Peter Crouch. Luis Garcia. Tackled by Harazi. Gonzalez was free beyond him. This is Catan. Held up well by Chabi Alonso. Catan showed too much of it to Aurelio. Arazi to Boccoli, taken very cleverly in his stride. The long stride of Sissoko halts his path. Fabio Aurelio can't quite deal with him. Does it the second time of asking. It's pretty rugged, the Brazilian left back. Free kick given against Crouch. His arm was in the face of Alara. Nothing to laugh at, Rev. Big centre half's going up. Probably the last action of the half. That was not even time. Oh, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, not even time for the free kick. That is half time. It's been a goalless half. It means that Liverpool lead by two goals to one on aggregate still. And probably more importantly, Jim, they have been the team that have looked most like scoring. Indeed, they have. We return to Kiev now and to our commentary team, David Pleat, and first of all, Clive Tilsley. Thank you, Jim, and welcome back. Ronnie Levy has had his uh, 15 minutes in the company of a team which need a goal. But the awkward nature of the tie is that a 1-0 defeat for Liverpool here would put them out. So despite the fact that they have looked like scoring almost throughout the first half, they do need to score in order to take a little bit of the heat off themselves in this game. No changes to either side at half-time. Liverpool have already made one change enforced upon the left-back. Stephen Warnock started the game in that position. They picked up an ankle problem, so Fabio Aurelio is on in his place. Both uh, Craig Bellamy and Stephen Gerrard are on the Liverpool substitutes bench tonight alongside Robbie Fowler. Rafa Benitez's hand was forced somewhat in Gerard's case by the fact that he was unwell overnight. Crouch with a little flick there, turned away by Olara, but Gerard was warming up with the other substitutes prior to the game, and Benitez confirmed he is fit for duty if required. 
Magrelishvili given away tamely to Xabi Alonso. Here's Peter Crouch, forced away by Kanan as far as Momo Sissoko. Now Jermaine Pennant. Just uh, shrugged off the ball by Magrelishvili. It ran tamely through for a goal kick. Haifa have to be more ambitious. I feel they're playing this second leg like they would normally play a first leg, a kind of a containing job. But uh, Liverpool certainly more dangerous, they've used the width better, and I don't think there's any need for Benitez to change that philosophy in the early stages of this second half. If they got a goal, I don't see Haifa at the moment, with the way they're playing, looking to have enough big guns to, to come back. Xabi Alonso, Momo Sissoko, the ball just sat up in front of him. Maccabi Haifa do have um, a player on the substitutes bench who is a current Israeli international, a 21-year-old forward with a good reputation who wasn't available for the first match because of suspension. He is a bit of a hothead, but um, Shlomi Arbetman might be added to the mix at some stage. Magrelishvili. Masudi, Kalauti, Aga though, Sissoko, Alonso, Garcia, Pennant, smooth approach play from Liverpool, ref the uh, goalkeeper just caught in two miles a little bit, but the ball was lofted sufficiently for Davidovic to uh, change his feet. Looks as though Benitez has said, let's try and get Pennant a uh, little bit of possession, see if he can uh, attack Magovici down the left-hand side and get some joy. Didn't get a lot of passes in the first half. Gonzalez was the beneficiary of most of the Liverpool midfield play. Crouch, dispossessed by Boccoli. Black little customer, the Brazilian. Catan a little lazy with the ball that time. How deep Crouch is here. It's a good ball though, Gonzalez pulled in towards Luis Garcia, away by Olara. Fabulous ball by Peter Crouch, wasn't it, inside the fullback. Sissoko to Pennant, Finnan offering support. Pennant halted by Masudi, away by Anderson. If you were Peter Crouch, what would you make of the signing of Dirk Coit this week? Well, I'd welcome him because all players want as many quality players in the club as possible to help them win things, and players always talk about winning things. Um, I think it will mean that uh, the management are able to interchange far more than they could do previously, because I think Benitez does like a big one up there as the main one. I think. Dirk Kite will do well at Liverpool. I don't think he did himself justice in the World Cup. He's a much better player than he showed. Crouch has run a free kick here on the edge of the penalty area. Do well to get you to be penalised for dangerous kicking against Peter Crouch. Fabio Aurelio, the number 12, does come to Liverpool with a free kick reputation which was enhanced with a Good effort for Bramall Lane on Saturday, which Paddy Kenny just about dealt with. Good refereeing there, making sure the wall is the 10 yards, and not only that, telling the players quite clearly, I won't let you move until you, the whistle goes. I think that's good refereeing because so many walls advance rather quietly and stealthily when the referee's not looking, and in the end, the Kicker whacks the ball and hits an opponent's shirt, and he's probably about six yards from the ball when he strikes it, but he's made the wall to clear ten metres. He set up for Chabi Alonso! Just lifted it wide of Davidovic, his right-hand post. The goalkeeper didn't quite get a touch. And the idea of free kicks, of course, if someone fouls in those positions, is to give the advantage to the attacking side. And if you go the full 10 metres, it gives the kicker a fair chance of getting a shot in. It was a good effort. Might get on the score sheet tonight, Alonso. Looks as though he wants to score. They are still good old-fashioned yards in the law books. Oh, 
Michael Lishley. Masudi with the throw. Cuts out. Assisted the attentions of Finn. Ted Magra Lishley. Alonso and Sissoko have given good protection to the back four so far. Sissoko has been penalised. Loose play by Catan. Frustration. And the Haifa bench. Has good moments and bad moments, doesn't he, uh, Yaniv Catan? Yeah, I think technically he's good. Tell me he's uh, not a natural goal scorer. Didn't score for West Ham United in his six months there. He only started a couple of games in fairness and when Carlton Cole was added to Adam Pardew's striking options in the summer. Catan was allowed to leave. Pennant's cross. Every time they clear the ball, Hippier just pulls that defence five or ten yards, compacts the space, closes his midfield closer to his front players, always keep compact Liverpool, and it all comes from the back, where Hippier leads his men. Terrific signing he's been. Tremendous director of the play from that deepest defensive position. Pennant. Took a little bit too much. Catan emerges with the ball. Only Kalauti ahead of him for now. So now to find the right pass of Kalauti. There is that man, Sami Hupia. 51st appearance in this competition for Liverpool tonight. And now only Phil Neal has played more games in the European Cup for Liverpool. There's some company there that Hupia has overtaken. He's just six behind Neal. Luis Garcia. Sissoko, Jermaine Pennant, oh, he's got clear here of Magalishvili, it's Pennant, crowd, yes! Oh, that makes all the difference in the world now. Liverpool have their away goal, and Peter Crouch has scored for the first time in Europe. A goal that could just take Liverpool into the Champions League proper. But what a part Jermaine Pennant played in it. Well, they were beginning to feed Pennant, didn't have a lot of the ball in the first half. Got the better of Magarishvili there. And as he surged to the byline, it was a super little run of Crouch to get across the box, get across his defender, the tall Chilean. Two English players, young English players, conjuring a fine goal. Well, he got the winner in the Community Shield against Chelsea. He got a couple for England last week, Peter Crouch. And now his first goal in European competition has given Liverpool a bit of breathing space because it means Maccabi Haifa have got to score twice in the remaining 35 minutes in order to take this match into extra time. The uh, shadow of that 1-0 Maccabi Haifa win and all that it entailed for Liverpool has been removed by the giant Peter Crouch. You probably see the shackles removed now from the Haifa team a little bit. They have no option now but to push on a little bit. Whilst the game was nil-nil, they probably thought they always might get a chance of a break from a set play or a breakaway. But they never really convinced the watching people here that they were going to try and force a goal by getting numbers up the field. Scratch his second goal of the campaign. He took 19 games to get to one last season.
Fabio Aurelia. Towards the head of Crouch. Nudged into the path of Gonzalez, it goes down to ground under pressure from Alon Harazi. It's time to get to his feet. Crouch once more. Gonzalez, he was clearly fouled that time by the right back. Peter Crouch is playing a very, very good game tonight. There's no question about that. He's really leading the line well. He's got the ascendancy for the higher balls, which we expect, but his control and passing and bringing people into the game has been really good. Ten million pounds is a lot of money to pay to motivate an older player, but uh, <laughs> the uh, arrival of Dirk Kapp, they uh, just have done that. Although Crouch is the type who always gives his all. Pennant with the free kick. Here's the head of Crouch once more, but he's penalised this time. Could probably be beating up that man. In the, with the forthcoming international, if uh, Crouch retains his place and Kanan gets the centre-back spot, here's the goal again. Beautiful ball. Once he escaped Magralishvili, the uh, odds were rising with each stride that Pennant will be able to find a scoring pass. He had time and space in which to pick his man, and Crouch made the required run and provided provided a, a pretty routine finish by his standards once he got there and Liverpool now have an aggregate lead of three goals to one Crouch with time to chest the ball down this time. Does so very skillfully. Pennant unable to control a lively ball. Boccoli. Oh, Fabio Aurelio showed his studs there and then slides in. Just like a tackle, the Brazilian. Interesting to see the first one again. Uh, Boccoli's looked the shadow of the player he was at Anfield, where he was elusive and sharp and ran the ball well from the middle third. Did go down in one or two challenges at Anfield and upset the crowd. Went down rather readily. I think I compared him to Giannino, who used to play at Middlesbrough, but um, hasn't played like Giannino tonight. Nothing wrong with Fabio Aurelia's challenge on review. His uh, foot was a bit lower than I'd imagined at first. Gonzalez, Garcia. Gonzalez once more. Xabi Alonso, Luis Garcia, Mark Gonzalez. Side netting. Good combination play again, though. Yeah, excellent acceleration by Gonzalez. On the left-hand side, a clever little flip by Garcia. Liverpool's task would have been all the more nervous but for Gonzalez's late goal within two minutes of coming on in the uh, first leg a fortnight ago. I haven't changed their tactics, still playing a far too cautious game, in my view. And the manager, who we praised in the first game, has made no particular tactical change to try and get them back into this game. It's the same pattern, and there's no substitutes look as though they're about to come on. And we've had two-thirds of the game. Big task for them now to get two goals. When you see the evidence of what's gone on in the previous 60 minutes or so. Well won by Gonzalez, who's cast here. Lost possession, but a uh, Free kick has been given to Liverpool, maybe handball was it against Lara. <laughs> Liverpool have their opponents exactly where they want them now. Xabi Alonso, Sami Hupia, away by Kanan, this is Masudi. A 
Daggers look very competent alongside Herpia. Pennant seeking out Crouch. Excellent covering. Ambitious ball by Pennant. Bockley can control the ball. Sissoko got to it. Well, seemed to get a lot of it to me. Dersou. Look a little bit dispirited now. Maccabi Haifa, now are quite literally a long way from home. Well, when the midfield players get it, Dersou or indeed Anderson, and they look up, Hippias stands still, he doesn't go back with the runner, he stands still, and the runners then have got to try and keep onside. And it's very difficult for them to time their run and get the pass in, uh, in, at the same time. Hippias refuses sometimes to run back with the opponent opposing forwards, and as a consequence of that, it's very difficult to pace that pass. Bocoli. Headed away by Chabi Alonso. Anderson. Stepping through the challenges very skillfully, looking to get it back from Catan. This is still Anderson! Good save! And Palazzi has scored, and the goal stands. Maccabi Haifa have equalised on the night. They're back within a goal of forcing the tie into extra time. A goal made by that man, Anderson, for Roberto Calauti to snap up. I wonder what Anderson's been doing the whole game, you know, in view of the fact that they should be chasing it. He surged forward. How many times has that happened? Once in the whole game. He's gone forward. Liverpool have tried to hold the line. A little bit of intricate play, similar to the first game when the little guy, Bacali, scored. There he is, all of a sudden, you get the two midfield players up there and a chance develops. No question about it, it was a genuine good goal. They looked to the assistant, no offsides. Pep Rayner made a good attempt to stop the ball, he was at full stretch, but Calato was doing what every good centre-forward does, follow-up. There's no conclusive... Uh evidence there that he was onside when Anderson shot but it did look as if Chabi Alonso in his attempts to get back and cover probably just got beyond Kalati and despite the Liverpool appeals when the ball came back to him he was uh, quite entitled to knock it into the empty net and square up the scores on the night Liverpool still lead by three goals to two on aggregate. If Maccabi Haifa were to score again, it would take the match into extra time. Number 14, Ayo Mashuma, is a, essentially a right back. Bocking has got away from Sissoko, and that will certainly lift the spirits just when they were starting to sing. And Sissoko is still down, incidentally. It's Masudi chasing the ball through. And Mama Sissoko looks as if he's in trouble. He's barely moved other than just to roll over since that incident, what, 10, 15 seconds ago now. Referee, who's been excellent, is rather slow to see that. He'll always be having a quick glance over his shoulder when the play's in front of him. We've got uh, more live European football on ITV this week. Uh, to, tomorrow at this time, Arsenal's Champions League qualifier against Dinamo Zagreb is on ITV4. We start at 7.30 tomorrow night from the Emirates Stadium on ITV4. And then on Friday, we've got the European Super Cup between Barcelona and Sevilla. That's on ITV4, also from 7.30. That's Friday, live from Monaco. Now, as Mashuma comes on in... Uh, place of Kanan, it doesn't look good here for Sissoko. Well, Kanan's limping, but it looked as though he got a bit of concussion, possibly, in the first half. Sissoko looks in more trouble. Liverpool could do with a change regardless. It would be a shame for Sissoko if he has to uh, go off the field. He was started the season very well. He was so good in the charity shield against Chelsea really establishing himself as the ball winner and the man-mountain 
In a strange way, he's keeping Gerrard out on the flank for Liverpool at the moment with Alonso, the passing midfield player. But um, almost certainly this will necessitate a change and that will be Gerrard. So it's not as though there's a poor player coming on and of course all the Ukrainian fans here all recognise Gerrard, a, a world football figure. Bocoli, tackled by Gonzalez. This is Crouch. Liverpool down to 10 for now and on the break here with Peter Crouch. Can't really afford to lose the ball in those circumstances. Katan. Masudi has not been flagged here. He should have been. I'm sure he should have been. I'd like to see that one again. Hippia has a look at the assistant. He says, look, if I'm going to stand still and let them run, I want you to be sharp-eyed. The moment Mo Sissoko is still lying on that motorised trolley, the buggy uh, which pulled him off, and Steven Gerrard prepares to take his place, and this looks really bad for a very tough customer. Gerrard, who uh, was unwell overnight, he had a stomach upset, but um, fit enough to come on and replace Sissoko. First time uh, Liverpool have actually fielded him in a central midfield position all season. Almost as popular in Kiev as Shevchenko. A lot of concern here for Sissoko, who his very career was threatened by the eye injury that he suffered in Lisbon against Benfica in February. Thankfully, he came back from that within a month, came back in charge of the FA Cup quarter-final, in fact. But um, he stayed down there after falling awkwardly and was very carefully loaded onto the, the buggy and now away for some treatment. He's a long way from home. I wonder if Benitez might withdraw Garcia just a little to bolster the midfield. Important 15 or so minutes ahead of Liverpool here. He must keep it tight. They led with a goal from Peter Crouch, which gave them breathing space in this tie. They weren't in front for too long. Maccabi Haifa have equalised on the night and now need one more goal in order to force this into extra time. Liverpool have lost two more players to injury on the night. Warnock in the first half, and now Sissoko, more alarmingly, in the second. Gerrard's first touch. Free kick given against Crouch. Now well, there is a bit more of a spring in the step of the uh, Hyper players. Have they got enough power to force a goal? Yeah, that's Masuri has found Colotti, and the flag has belatedly gone up. There is more movement now coming from the centre. And you see Hippia hands up. Quite right. Just got to watch the runner from midfield when you're holding that tight line. The one that comes from a deeper position. Headed to Gerrard. Into Crouch. Forced away by Mishuma. Boccoli. Different mood inside the stadium. Different mood about the match now. Free kick given against Alara for a shove on Crouch. Chance for Gerard, maybe. Or will Alonso finally hit the target? Anderson has a problem with cramp. Certainly didn't have it five minutes ago when he walked through the uh, Liverpool defence to set up the goal. The buggy's back on. Well, Haifa will have the benefit, I think, of a few minutes extra time that the referee will have to play. And one or two uh, interruptions now for injuries and 
substitutions. Probably could be a, up to three minutes, I would have thought. The uh, main draw for the group stage of the Champions League takes place on Thursday at around about five o'clock. And you can follow it live on our website. If you uh, log on to itv.com slash football on Thursday at five o'clock, you can follow the draw live. And the change is going to have to be made. Xavier Anderson cannot continue. Well, Romeo Medicson is an under-21 international midfield player. will come on in his place. We saw him briefly at the uh, end of the first leg at Anfield. Now, what can Liverpool make of the free kick? Gerard or Aurelio? It's Fabio Aurelio. He's swinging too much, if anything. Forced a wonderful save at Sheffield on Saturday with that uh, clever left foot. I think it was Paddy Kenny of Sheffield United who turned the ball onto his bar. Katan. Threading through. Across the uh, face of the goal from Masudi. Desu. Masuma. Not sure Harazi really wanted that. The uh, experienced right back is now slotted in alongside Alara at the heart of the defence. Liverpool just need to restore a bit of order to their play. The game's become untidy. Need to keep Pennant in the game. I think that's important for them. That gives them a pressure point. If they can get it wide and he can get dribbling towards the corners. And that will keep Hyper on the defence. Hope you're in trouble. It's going to be a yellow card for the Liverpool central defender. Committed himself to the sliding challenge and didn't quite get it right. Liverpool are starting to invite a bit of pressure here now. Carving through Kalauti. Bocoli. A little too long for Masudi. Well, they had an opportunity to get the ball in the box there and have a little bit of a fight ball. But the tall Chilean centre half and Mashuma, who's come on for Kanan, neither of them went up there. Strangely cautious they've been at times tonight. That goal should lift them to a massive attacking effort. They can afford to leave space, they can afford to concede another if they have to in the search of getting that elusive goal. They need a goal, they must get players forward in this last period. Mashuma. Held up by Aurelio, throw in to Liverpool. He does have Champions League experience, Fabio Aurelio. He played for Valencia in that semi-final against Leeds United back in uh, 2001. Didn't make the team for the final. But he knows his way around at this level. Ways by Agger this time. Only as far as Bocoli gets it back from Kalauti. Bocoli's cross. The space here for Masudi. Finland got to him as quickly as he could, but there was a genuine chance there for Alan Masudi. But the young player from Congo just couldn't make the necessary contact with a difficult volley. It was a lovely ball by Bacali. Did he have to be so, so spectacular? I don't think so. The Liverpool are back on a tightrope here. Maccabi Haifa are a goal away from forcing this match into extra time. <laughs> Luis Garcia, ready through towards Steven Gerrard. Almost leading by example, he's Forced another error and got a shot in on goal eventually. Well, that's Gerard all over, a fabulous the break. game immediately. So a fabulous break there by Gerard to get into the box. <laughs> Playing with Alonso in midfield. It's very difficult to restrain Gerard. He's got so much energy and he 
You're always fear you're taking something away from him if you keep him in the sitting role. Alonso's doing more of that at the moment. Gerard's looking to join in when the opportunity presents itself. I would just be happy to be in any central midfield role, having played on the flanks for Liverpool and England so far this season. He started the first leg almost up front for Liverpool, but mistake by Luis Garcia has handed the ball to Catan, and now Kalauti, and here's Boccoli. There's no... Oh, the flag did go up very, very late from the uh, Italian linesman. But it's anxious again now for Liverpool. There you see Finnan just holding, look, ways, not going back, not being tempted back, being brave. I don't think Kalauti was offside, though. <laughs> offside. The injury that uh, Momo Sissoko suffered has been initially diagnosed as a twisted knee, but there is some anxiety, I can tell you, in the Liverpool camp about it. Katan. Melek shot. Bokkali. Lifted back into the substitute, Melekson. He's beaten Rayner right to it, and it needed Daniel Agger to intervene. It is only a throw-in. It was a real chance for the young substitute. Now Bokkali, looking to feed Mishuma. Goal kick and some relief for a Liverpool rear guard that's suddenly under pressure. I think Bokkali's got a little bit of cramp, but he's showing a little bit of those intricate ball skills that he showed at Anfield, and that was a very clever ball. I think the assistant was right. But Liverpool have just got to be careful now, holding that line. They've done it so well most of the evening. But they're just getting caught from midfield runners. Something that Haifa didn't use earlier enough in the game. Just need to take some of the pressure out of this game. Liverpool will keep it for a while. Gonzalez, Luis Garcia. Can't afford to be wasteful. It was uh, his error that set up the last Maccabi Haifa attack. Arbeckman played for his country last week. He was in the Israeli starting 11 in a, a friendly match they played in Slovenia, so that's how good he, he is. He wasn't available the, uh, for the first game because of suspension. He was a sent off in this uh, qualifying round a year ago against Malmo. Clash of heads. Had a steady game, Daniel Agger, the Danish left-footed centre-back. Hippias talked him through it. In a steady partnership, accepting the fact that Kalauti has played at times a little bit of a lone furrow. I don't think Katan has really got close enough to him. I can't remember Katan having a shot at goal this evening. And that's what he's supposed to be there for. He is a striker. And I think he's being uh, conceded now, sent to the bench. It's Masudi who's uh, going to come off. So that's Slomi Arbetman, who got another red card a couple of weeks ago in uh, Maccabi Haifa's first game of this season. He is um, a fiery 21-year-old. Crouch. Pennant arriving. Here is Catan. Waited that pass well for Bokkali. Gets it back from Kalauti. Good run by uh, Bokkali. Well seen by Hupia breaking up the attack. Decisive then in his defending. Aurelia. Pennant. Xabi Alonso. Gerard has found some space here. Steven Gerard, swinging shot which swung into the midriff of Davidovic. Pennant wanted that ball in free space. Gerard wanted a crack 
aiming for that top corner. Davidic gets well behind it. I think Liverpool have been very strong down the spine of their team tonight. Hippie are very good. Alonso passed it well. I think Crouch has been excellent up the middle. Inside the last 10 minutes. Liverpool within sight of the main draw. Catan charged down by Gerrard. It doesn't look much wrong with Steven Gerrard. <laughs> That's one way to stop him. That's good advantage. Gerrard goes on. Smashes a shot against the head of Alara. Pennant. Gonzalez and Crouch got each other's way. Gerrard! He's pulled that wide on his unfavoured left foot. Yeah, he's shown some power, he's shown some speed, he's shown some shooting. Certainly adding to his Ukrainian fan club here tonight. He's really been involved. Looks the most likely Liverpool scorer at the moment, Steven Gerrard from midfield. Magralishvili gets it back from Kalauti. Couldn't fit it through because our Bateman had run offside. Now they're on. So the left back has it. Now Kalauti. Good shot. Oh, a really good save by Jose Reyna. Kalauti's superbly struck curling shot. Beaten away by Jose Reyna and Liverpool are living dangerously in these last ten minutes. Well, we were right behind that. That really was a superb shot. But didn't Reyna do well? Swung in towards Alara, turned away as far as Bocchelli. Masudi takes over. Upside against the big centre-back, it stayed forward. Well, this isn't how it was supposed to be when Peter Crouch gave Liverpool a two-goal aggregate advantage. But, but for that save from Reyna, I'd have been asking you to stay up a little longer with us for extra time. Liverpool are still not home. Dersu. Michael literally the left-back is suddenly getting forward more, but... Unable to link with Catan that time, Finn cuts it out. You see the free kick, Steve Finnan after stumbling. I thought Finnan might have had the free kick there. Pilati, sorry, Boccoli getting in a tangle with him. Moshuma to Melekson. Now Dursu. And Luis Garcia has dropped a little bit deeper now. Michael Ishvili to Catan. A useful ball in towards our Bateman. Good header by Agger, tidied up by Gerrard. Liverpool being tested, probably for the first time in the game. Haifa throwing caution to the wind, rather late, but doing it quite effectively. It's Gerrard who's up there supporting Crouch. It's Gerard shot. He, he was unwell yesterday when Liverpool had that marathon journey. They had delays in Liverpool Airport. They had delays when they arrived here in Kiev. But he did say that he, he wouldn't have made the trip if he didn't feel as if it was a bug that he couldn't shake off. He's been reporting today that he's feeling a lot better. So it was quite a bold decision by Rafa Benitez to start the game without him. Mishuma. Turned away by Agger. Foul on Luis Garcia. We've got Craig Bellamy stripped off and ready to come on. Well, as Haifa push forward, of course, they will leave space and there's no better guy to exploit it than Bellamy. It's Pennant that's being sacrificed for him. I think Pennant's had a good second half. Made the vital goal, of course, kept the wits. <laughs> Bellamy who went out. With Newcastle United at this stage, three years ago, they lost to Partizan Belgrade. It's an agonising time for a big English club to wave farewell to Champions League dreams. He knows how it feels. Crouch can't reach that, Luis Garcia can't reach it. The uh, 
Liverpool fans may recall they came through a qualifying, qualifying round the year they won the Champions League and came through it nervously, beating the Austrian side Graz by two goals to one on aggregate. Well, it's 3-2 this time against a team from Israel. But it's all forgotten if you make it into the main draw. You only remember these games if you don't. I think Haifa must like late nights. I think they've woke up. It's about 20 past 11 here. Just come alive. I think they should have been more ambitious earlier on. Luis Garcia, Chabi Alonso. Break down the communication between the two Spaniards, but Alonso repairs it. Waiting in that main draw on Thursday. Chelsea, Manchester United, Celtic. Barcelona, Real Madrid, Inter Milan, Bayern Munich, Lyon. That's the place where Rafa Benitez and any manager with real ambition wants to be. Catan. Cut up by Hupia. Gerard breaking up the attack. Aurelia. Crouch can't control it. A rare long waste of ball by uh, Liverpool. Bellum is taken off a position on the uh, wide right, so it's uh, like for like. Taken Pennant's roll. Charged down by Luis Garcia for Peter Crouch. Tried to slip it back into Garcia. Flag is now up for offside. Ran beyond the last defender. Halauti, Melikson, Arbetman is on side. Ooh, again, the pitch. the pitch on the far side does take his time. Initially unable to keep that in. Liverpool just need to take the strain of the game. It hasn't been an easy game for them. Just need to keep the ball, make the passes. See the strain on the face of Rafa Benitez. Put in the spoon it forward, but Bellamy is offside. But Liverpool will be happy to while away these last couple of minutes. In the Maccabi half of the field, Bokali, Dersu, a bit of space for Mashuma, good work from Gonzalez, forcing Mashuma back, Bokali trying to prompt play, Harazi to Alara, 11 Liverpool men behind the ball. 10 in their own half. Alara has to toss it forward and Herpia will deal with those all day. Yaliv Katan. And it away by Chabi Alonso. He's done some good work of that kind on behalf of the men behind him. And he's found Luis Garcia to break here. He's got Peter Crouch with him and Steven Gerrard straining to get with them too. And here's Crouch and here's Gerrard. And they needed a good covering challenge from Alon Harazi. Typical Gerard again. Uh, once again poses the question, what is his best position? Only he can tell us, I think. Free, somewhere. Free to do what he does, to go and fight fires wherever they may spring up around the field. Short to Bellamy. Seconds ticking away in this skirmish. Gerard just pumping the ball against Masuni. Wall past that for Chabi Alonso. Attempted a sliding challenge from Mayor uh, Melikson. Well, there will be three added minutes. Into the first of them. That's how close Liverpool are now. And they have this free kick here. Time is running out for Ronnie Levy. Gerard, Bellamy, 
Can't get past uh, Magalishvili. Up here solid again, Xabi Alonso. It'll do for Liverpool. We've got a, a crowded programme coming up. Home to West Ham United, their FA Cup final opponents at Anfield on Saturday. That's followed by another international break. And the return from that to a Merseyside derby at Goodison on September the 9th. That's followed by a Champions League week. And then, at the end of the Champions League week, a Premiership fixture at Chelsea. Looks like it will be a Champions League week. We're very close now. There's Sue. Mishuma. It's wrong footed Luis Garcia. Uh, uh, Gonzalez, I should say. And Agar and Huppier have done very little wrong. There's Sue. Huppier's got some defending to do here against Kalauti. Huppier went bravely in, but Kalauti stole it from him. Just too high for our Bateman. Down goes. A player in the box, but I think he's going to be carded for diving. It is Mishuma who got forward from right back, who went down. Well, a referee's got to be pretty certain when he gives a call like that. He was looking through a lot of defenders. Clever cross by Kalati now. I thought he might have given a free kick there against uh, the Israeli. We don't really see it clearly enough to... Give an accurate assessment on that one. And I will say that uh, there was good uh, defensive play there at the back post by Liverpool, tracking well. It was Mark Gonzalez who made such an impact in the last moments of the first leg and almost made an impact in the last moments of this second leg. I think there was definitely contact. Alara. Liverpool are through to the Champions League main draw on Thursday. No more than they would have expected when they drew Maccabi Haifa with the disadvantage that they faced of having to play this second leg on neutral territory. For seven minutes they had some breathing space. At the end they were breathing heavily. But Liverpool are through by three goals to two on aggregate. Thanks to Clive Tilsley, thanks to David Pleat as well. It was close, but it will do. Great work from Pennant. Peter Crouch. It's a £12 million game, this one. This save from Rayner, absolutely priceless.